study after study shows that uh, in order to be in a, a top profession, in order to be an engineer, in order to get an MBA, in order to get an MD, um, or be a top executive, you need to have an IQ that's about one standard deviation above normal or higher. That puts you at about 115 IQ. But then the studies show after that there is no correlation between your IQ and your actual effectiveness or success in that line of work. Whether you're a CEO, uh, academic, an engineer, doesn't matter. Why? Because that is the IQ level you need to master the technical skills and the co it's the cognitive capacity you need to handle that profession. But after that, think about it. Once you're in the field, you're competing with people who are about as smart as you are. There's really no, uh, throughout school, IQ is a huge advantage for grades. In the workplace, after, that, after you reach that criterion level, it has no, very little added benefit. And what makes the difference are your personal abilities, how you manage yourself. Do you stay motivated? Do you stay focused? Are you adaptable? Are you self-aware? And your interpersonal abilities. Can you read other people? Do you know how to get along well? Are you a team, good team player? Can you be a leader? And those all depend on emotional intelligence.